Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup video, which I haven't done a trying new makeup video in a very long time. So I wanted to try out a lot of stuff that is new. Most of this video is going to be new drugstore products. I have a couple other products that aren't drugstore, but they are a newer product that we're gonna be talking about today. I'm also really excited. We're gonna be talking about the Haley's Retouch Powder and Concealer. We're also gonna be talking about um, some new Elf stuff, some new Milani stuff. We have all kinds of stuff to talk about today. So with that being said, um, shout out to Haley's Beauty for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We're gonna go ahead and just jump right in and start doing our makeup. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave to join my fam jam today. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you here. So let's go ahead and get started with the makeup. Okay, we're gonna start off with our face makeup. I'm gonna be using the new Electric Mood. Actually, no, I kinda wanna use this new Milani Glow, Glow Drops. It's just more interesting to me. Oh my gosh, I thought, wait. Radiance Boosting, okay, I don't know. I'm gonna be taking my Haley's Beauty Sponge and just apply these. It kinda has like a pinkness to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't really see it on the skin. Kinda smells like coconuts too, oh my god. Also, I'm really loving this sponge. It's really large and plush. I'm just gonna apply these all over. They feel really moisturizing. I'm not sure how dewy I look, but we'll find that out, I think, after we apply our product. The shine you're seeing, I think, is mostly from the sponge, cause it has like, actually, I don't know. I think it's the dew drops. So now for my base, I'm gonna be using the Hydrating Skin Tint from Milani. I have two shades here. I think this is a newer product. It has electric lights, coconut water, um, squalene, which is supposed to help with youthfulness. Um, I think I'm gonna try 250 medium, and we'll see that where that takes us on what journey that takes us on. I don't really know. First off, I don't love, I wish I had like a pump on it. Yeah, no, they don't have a pump. This is, I don't know, I don't love the squeegees too, but I'm not like mad about it, you know? This looks like it's gonna be too dark. Go in with light, medium, 210. Okay, this looks like it's more my journey, so I'm gonna start buffing this in, and it is very, very, um, very light coverage. So this is just supposed to be a hydrating skin tint, not really foundation per se. I will say this product does feel a little bit heavy for a skin tint. Maybe that's because it's so moisturizing. I'm not sure, but it kind of feels like I have like a full coverage foundation on, but definitely not the look of a full coverage foundation. I would say this has little to zero coverage in it just because it's really, it's a skin tint, just a reminder, but it really is what it says it is. It just added a little bit of a flush of color to my skin and that's about it. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. So for today's concealer, I'm gonna be using the Haley Beauty's Rewind Concealer. This is a blurring full coverage concealer. And then I'm gonna set my face with the Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. Haley's Beauty was created by a Filipina female chemist. She's formulated this beauty brand that has created high performing makeup that's good for all skin types. It's also vegan and cruelty free and it has skin friendly ingredients. It has great coverage and it won't clog your pores. Also something really amazing happening right now, they're running a friends and family sale. They have 30% off the entire website right now and it's gonna end on the 8th of September. So hurry up, I'll have everything linked down below. No discount code needed, it's 30% off. Also Haley's Beauty wants to do a giveaway with you guys. So let me tell you what they're gonna give you guys. They're gonna give you a full coverage blur and concealer. They're gonna give you the Soft Focus Powder, the Complexion Sponge, which I'm loving, and one Brilliant Powder Brush. So 10 winners. All you guys have to do is follow them on their Instagram, tag one friend on the Haley Beauty's Instagram giveaway post specifically. The giveaway ends in one week from today, and I'll have other details in my description right down below. So in shade Medium Neutral, this is the Re Rewind Blurring Concealer. I'm gonna be adding this to my under eye. So this concealer converts UV light into a really radiant bright finish. It also helps to decrease the appearance of wrinkles, which I'm like, okay girl, yes please. But I've really been enjoying it. It has really good coverage and like that's my favorite thing about it. So I'm blending it out with a complexion sponge and this is a latex free sponge. And I think it really leaves you with a nice airbrush finished when using this. Like look how good. This looks. Also, just to let you guys know, their tubes are 100% recyclable. You just have to remove the metal tip. The tubes are derived from natural renewable sugar cane. Okay, next I'm going to add some of the Rewind Touch Soft Focus Powder. Now I'm gonna use my Brilliant Powder Brush. This is a vegan, cruelty-free, synthetic brush, super soft powdery bristles, which this brush is great for applying really any type of powder. 
It's very soft. So the setting powder is has a blurring power within it, and we love that. So it's hydrating, anti-cracking, and it can extend the longevity of your makeup, the long wear. It also can uh, make your liquid products feel a little more lightweight. So that is bob.com. That's my Haley's collection. Be sure and check it out. 30% off site wide. That sale ends on the 8th of September. Check it out. I'll have it all linked in the description box down below. Thank you to Haley's Beauty for sponsoring that portion of today's video. Now we are going to also go in with this new palette from e.l.f. It's Electric Mood. I'm going to take the sponge and I am going to take a little bit of the contour shade and just oh i was not ready for it to be like that much like that is a lot of business going on there okay i feel like this bronzer blended out so nicely i also feel like it warmed us up a little bit because i didn't you know i don't really see myself using the milani product it's such a light tint i really feel like it was almost like the water drops from MAC. It's something I would probably add into another product, but I wouldn't use it on its own. However, the concealer is everything. I really recommend you guys try it out. The powder is great, and this um, cream product's great. Also, the sponges. Bomb.com, but I'm going to go in with the side of the sponge that's clean and go in with this pink blush. And we're just going to get our cheeks a little rosy. This is almost a red blush. Once you get it on, it kind of looks ready. You guys see the redness in it maybe? Kinda looks like I put lipstick on my cheeks. It's a little bold, but I don't know, this palette blends really well, so. So I'm gonna pull a Manny MUA and do a back when the brows are filled. I also saw, by the way, that got to be is coming out with a brow or um, sides of your hair product. It's like on a spoolie. How long have I been telling you guys that I use the got to be brow gel, or hair gel, I'm sorry, hair gel for my brows to do this with? It's like they heard me. I'm sure other people have done it. I know I'm probably not the only one, but I know I've been doing or mentioning that. So when I saw that, I was like very excited and I will be trying that out. Now I'm gonna take the L30 with some of the Rewind Concealer and just clean up the base of my brows. You can also use this concealer as an eye base, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I have some redness or like darkness to my eyelids I always have. So I really like using a little more full coverage products as an eye base to cover that. Okay, I literally have like 16 eyeshadow palettes that have come out that I need to try or something. So we have the Mood Palette from e.l.f. Very pretty. I'm probably going to tap into this. We have the Tina Young Palette. We have the Your Golden Palette from ColourPop. We have more. We have the Wow Palette Jaguwa from Huda Beauty. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. We have so many palettes. I do want to stick a little more to drugstore, so, and I'm kind of dying to tap into this. So I'm going to grab a latte. And with my L28, I'm just going to blend this out. I feel like this matte color blended out so nicely. It feels like a high-end eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lower lash line as well with the same brush, just buffing it back and forth and then kind of connecting it right here. But I'm pretty impressed so far. I'm a little nervous for these metallic shades in the palette. Like they're like foiled almost. They seem like they have a little bit of fallout, but I don't know. They look so pretty. I'm really tempted to dive in. Do I go with this spicy color right here? It's like rose gold, gold coral. I'm gonna take it on my L27. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is really pretty. Oh. That is gorgeous. I will say I did dampen the color a bit just to avoid any unnecessary fallout. And I feel like that really helped our situation out here. I don't know if it would be crazy, but I kind of want to take Sporty, this blue color, and create a liner with it. I might regret it. I might, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> I'm 
You know what guys, I don't hate our blue eyeliner journey. Did get a little blue highlighter, or blue eyeshadow fallout, so I'm just gonna clean up a little with our sponge. It has a little bit of the concealer left over. I'm gonna give my lashes a little curl. Curly girlies. Now I'm gonna be trying out a new mascara. This is the Big Moon Mascara from e.l.f. It is new, they just dropped it. Oh my gosh, look how big. You guys, this is the biggest, oh my gosh, this is like the biggest wand I've ever seen. You know what? I like it. It's like pretty impressive, but I'll tell you this. I'm like scared to get it near my eye because I know I'm about to make a mess. If you're a little better with these big wands, you'll like it, but I can get a little messy. Like I'll bump my eyelid. Oh, I just did right there. Only, I, I like the formula and the brush is just like the only downfall is the mess. And that may be just a me thing. I completely understand that. Like other people might be like, mm, I don't really make a mess, but girl. I somehow have it here now. Oh my gosh, I have a little black specks that kind of flickered off. So I'm using my Giga Black Mascara on my lower lashes just because, on my lower lashes, just because I will make, I will ruin this look if I use that big one. I didn't realize the black brush was so big. But just be careful with that. Other than that, formula, I get. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder contour. This is the Pixie Promise palette, and I'm just gonna add that right on. I'm using the L22 brush. Um, I just added <laughs> way too much contour. What? Wow, I love that. Um, so we're gonna be blending that out for a few days. I'll be back tomorrow, still blending. Um, I did not mean to add that much. I didn't really realize how pigmented this was and I underestimated it, so here we are. This side, however, looks a little better. I'm gonna take this champagne pink color right here for our highlight. And I'm just gonna add, it's very glowy, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna set everything with some setting spray. And now we're gonna do our lip. We do have the new e.l.f. Mood Electric Lip. It doesn't say what color this is, but it's like a red, but like a bomb. Not like a, it's not opaque. It's not opaque. I'm like, is it opaque? It's not opaque. Then we have this gloss. Looking at it, I'm not crazy about it, but let's just see how it looks on the lips. I don't love it. It makes me look like I have blue lips in a way, but if you're going to something fun, it might be your vibe. But just like every day, I don't know, it's kind of pretty, but it has like a blue to it. I don't hate it, but it has to be for the right moment. I think I'm gonna line my lips. This is the Dragon Beauty lip liner in the shade Lip Job. Huda has these new mini set. It came in her new Wild collection. And I'm gonna try out the color Feline. Mmm, Feline is pretty pretty. Look at my teeth. All right guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I love the really shimmery eye with the blue liner. It's kind of a moment, kind of matches my shirt in a way. I honestly, the concealer saved the day just because with this makeup look, I didn't love this product just for me. If you're the type of person who just wants the tiniest flush of color, this might be perfect for you. But for me, I need a little more coverage, especially under here. So we did have the concealer to rely on. Guys, be sure and check out the Rewind Concealer. It's so good. Again, I'm in shade medium neutral, very lightweight crease-free bomb. Don't forget to check out Haley's Beauty. Um, I'll have everything I use linked down below. And hurry because the sale ends soon. But some other favorites I used was the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It has sticky on the back of it. <laughs> so good. Love the colors. I know I only used two colors, but they were bomb. Um, this was nice. I love the lip color. It's like gonna be one of my favorites for sure. Concealer powder. This powder's bomb. I like the blurring effect. You can really use it all over your face. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, this palette was really cute. This is probably one of my favorite things from e.l.f. that I used today would be this guy. It's really good. 
So with that being said, that is about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like our look. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And that's it. So I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.